yourself. Y'all make some noise for this awesome woman and men of God. I salute you. I salute you. I salute you. And the fact that you're still in the land of the living shows me that you're doing something right. Preachers are checking out of here. You got to learn how to celebrate who God has given you. Come on and celebrate your man and woman of God. I love you with the love of God. I celebrate you. I celebrate your longevity. I celebrate your ministry. I celebrate your legacy. I celebrate where you are in the kingdom. It may have not been easy up until this point, but I hear the Lord say, fresh wind coming. Fresh wind coming because you stood the test of time. Because you didn't die and roll over. When you could have gave up, you decided, God, I'll do it. When others won't do it, I'll do it. When others won't say, I'll say it. When others won't go, I'll go. Lord, use me. Come on, celebrate this awesome woman and man of God. I'm humble just to even stand in your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got somebody to point your hand toward this day celebration. Hallelujah. I got you to point your hands and say long life and good health. Long life and good health in Jesus' name. Now somebody praise God on that. I see 16 plus 16 more coming. Yes, God. Healthy years. The Bible says that your latter years will be greater than that of the first. Guess what? I see you getting greater later. My God, sometimes you got to go through. Sometimes you got to suffer. Sometimes you got to go under and over and around and be forgotten about. But guess what? It's your time. Oh, my, 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 my. Oh, I, I, I honor you. I honor you, man and woman of God. I honor you. I live. And I'm operating in a li living legacy. So whenever I can stand among patriarchs and matriarchs and, and watch you still flowing. You know, you got some. The wife in ministry, but the husband ain't concerned. Or the husband in ministry, but the wife don't want to be bothered. So the fact that you two are unified, holding this thing together. I get to take a little unity back to my house. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless God on tonight. Hallelujah. God, we bless God. We honor the spirit of the Lord in this place to everyone in their respective places. To my spiritual grandmother, Apostle Bowens, Pastor Bowens, Lady Bowens, awesome woman of God. I love you. Good to see you again. Praise God to all of our mothers. We got any mothers in the house tonight? Mothers, lift your hands. Hallelujah. You mothers, you got to always show love to the mothers. Because without the mothers, we wouldn't be here. I know he made us first, but he made a woman so we could keep on coming. My God, y'all make some noise for the mothers in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate with me. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. There you go. I know women. I know women. They act like, you know, uh, sometimes us men act like we couldn't have, we could have did it without y'all. I don't know about y'all, but my wife is pregnant right now, and I don't think I would want that baby inside of me. I just, I don't know whether it was in my back, my side, or anything. She'd be laying down, telling me, I wish I could just put it over here. I say, well, baby, just don't put it over here. <laughs> you know, I'll rub your feet. Uh, do whatever I got to do. But Lord Jesus, and I'm trying to encourage your brother, because I ain't carrying it, right? So I'm like, oh, it's going to be all right. You know, it's easy to say that when you ain't got to wake up with it, go to sleep with it, watch it kick and turn all night. So I'll be coming up with clever stuff like, that's all right, baby. That's destiny kicking in you. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. I know it's painful. But baby, that mean breakthrough is I'll be trying to come up with stuff. Because I got to keep her encouraged. They say happy wife, happy life. Am I right? So, you know, everybody ain't able to have their baby's father around. So I told her, I say, listen, I know you cried about the pain, but some people ain't got this. She get then her face turned up. I say, there we go. There we go. And I'm going to be there through the whole process. Come on, y'all clap for my wife and her absence. Lady Angela. Awesome woman of God. I love her. I love her. I believe she can hear you clapping way back home. Listen, God is good. My, um, uh, uh, when my father, I've uh, been on the road with my father for about seven years now. But this is my first opportunity to preach alongside him. So, tonight... Tonight, I, I want to celebrate my father because it's not many fathers that are not castrating their sons, but that are saying, go ahead, you can do it. Help me celebrate my, 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 my mentor, 
the doctor, the pastor, the teacher, the revelatory, word bringing, word prolific, the, the most renowned preacher that God has had in this side of glory, none other than Apostle Juan F. Bella. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. We bless God. We bless God. Go ahead and be seated if you will. Hallelujah. I know you guys, it look like you've been partying all night. Hallelujah. But look at your neighbor and say, we just getting started. Yeah, yeah, we just getting started. See, I told y'all, this is the part where we just still laying our clothes out. We figuring out.